So the mission system is awesome. We have easy, medium and hard missions that are worth one, two and three stars. To start off, you only need three stars to level up, but by the end, you're talking 15 stars. We have heaps of different kinds of missions. Um, you know, we have really standard ones where it's like you gotta just fly this far, but then we have some really awesome, crazy ones like high-fiving scientists, which is awesome. When you complete one, we swap it out with a new one. We really like having three at all times because it means you don't really get stuck on one particular mission and just kind of jammed there. When you get a high score at the end of the game, um, it submits your highest score if you beat it to the uh, normal total leaderboards and um, it submits that score every game to the uh, weekly leaderboard. You finish it, you got your score and how many coins you collect. You also get this little Polaroid photo. What we can actually do is you press it and it zooms up full screen. You can check it out, you can save it to your camera roll. You know, in the future, you'll be able to put it to Twitter and Facebook. And yeah, it's really great. Sometimes you just get incredible screenshots, incredible little action moments. We submit all your achievements that you achieved that round and you can also view all the ones you've obtained in your stash. So while you're collecting coins in the game, um, you basically basically building up a bank account to use in the stash. Uh, the stash has got heaps of different stuff. You can buy different outfits which you can customise, like you know, put a crazy top hat on Barry with a lab coat. Vehicle upgrades, you've also got utility upgrades which are really great. You can, you know, buy yourself an extra couple of meters at the end by blasting yourself with a bomb. Also in the stash we have uh, my profile. That lets you check out all your statistics from the game, lets you see how far you've levelled up, keeps uh, track of all your badges and all your rewards. You can also view all of your achievements in the stash as well. Once you've fully finished it, you can basically cash in, you get this sweet little token, gets added to your profile, you can check it out later, and then you're away again. You can start the whole process again, and you can just keep collecting these little unique tokens. There's 125 to collect all. It probably works out about, I don't know, 2,000 hours worth of gameplay, so it should keep you busy for a while.